Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Code Actual, aka Hacksual, and today we're going to be talking about to see uh, if you have been infected with some type of malware, a rat, a worm, um, a keylogger, anything of those bad viruses that you do not want on your computer. Um, there is a software, multiple softwares actually, from Microsoft called Assis Internal Suite. Uh, go ahead and download that. Again, this is from Microsoft Official's website, um, but this is what the Microsoft team uses for themselves as well. So go ahead and download that. And once you have that extracted, um, let me open up the folder here. You want to scroll down where it says proct exe And this is something that's more advanced than your normal task manager. Um, we're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about everything else. If you do not want to use this um, to look for any type of viruses um, to get off of your computer. So when you uh, get this running, what you want to do is go to options, then go to virus total and a check mark of virus total and you can see here that it has a zero out of 70 uh, 73 72 uh, 71 so on and so forth so these are the virus scanners or virus scanners that will scan the viruses um, that is currently running on towards your computer it grabs the md5 hash and it scans it and it's like oh okay everything checks out um if i scroll down a bit there oh Oh, where did you go? Come back. See that? It just it just disappeared. Um, so let's grab another one. It'll say, so over here is obsbrowserpage.exe. And I know that this one's a false flag, but we can go ahead and click on that. And it'll bring us towards the VirusTotal webpage. And it'll say Malwarebytes. And if we go down to Community, normally there's comments. But... Um, this is a plugin for OBS and I know it's a false flag. So there's something that you can check into if you have something that's auto running on your computer um, for the processes. Let me scroll through a little bit more. Uh, I can find a false flag. However, um, this is something that is more powerful than the uh, task manager because of this feature alone. And it, shows you know what processes are running on your computer there's a couple of other nifty tools um, on task manager if you want to check that out for yourself um, when you go through the process processes tab you'll see all the applications that are running and you want to get more down into detail so if you go to performance and if you click on um, open resource monitor and now you'll see like an overview. You can select CPU, memory, disk, and network. Um, over here, you can see the network and you'll see the IP address and it's sent and receive how many bits. So why, why is it connecting to this IP address here and why is it sending so much? That should be a flag for you. It's like, oh, um, my computer's idle. I'm not watching Netflix. I'm not watching YouTube. I'm not listening to Spotify. Why is data being sent through? So you want to check into like OBS um, um, dot exe and see what the hell is going on. Um, for me, this is just sharing a uh, protocol, uh, an NDI protocol. Um, um, that That's something neither here or there, but it's sharing information to a server OBS computer of mine. So that's a okay. So you want to scroll down to see if, you know, um, stuff is being sent and received, but if you see it being sent, then that's sending out to, um, um, the server IP address. So that's something that, you, um, this is really helpful for, um, if we go to the startup, the problem with the viruses, um, they are getting sophisticated, right? Because with a rat, you can go ahead and um, um, hide it from startups. You can hide it with processes. So as in, um, normally how rats work is they merge their exe into your web browser and brave is my web browser and so with this process explorer that comes into play it will look for um um brave.exe and it will automatically submit or it'll scan an nd5 hash on virus total and it'll be like, oh, Brave EXE, it's, it's been injected with a uh, malware.exe, and that's no bueno. 
So you want to go ahead and get rid of that. So, you know, you can just um, um, see what IP address that is going to be connecting to. If it's going to be on here, or if you want to put that on command prompt, um, what you want to do is type in net stat dash b. And now all these IP addresses uh, um, will be popping up and it'll say brave.exe. And the, and the state that you're looking for is established because it has a connection. It has a handshake from the server in your computer. And this is where you want to deep dive this IP address right here and, you know, dissect it. See, see what's going on with it. Um, however, I'm just on a VPN, so this really doesn't really matter. But if you see something established... You know, do a little dissecting of what IP address is connecting. Google search it. See what's going on with that. Um, so the netstat dash b um, um, command is really helpful. Uh, another thing, um, back on task manager where it shows startup. Um, let's just say that whoever coded that shitty virus, it, it does show up on the startup tab. You can go ahead and select it and click disable. Um, just let's go with the Xbox app uh, services and you can click disable and um, that will, tr that will kind of hold the virus. If it doesn't, if it doesn't have what it's called persistence, if it has persistence, then it'll keep r uh, auto running itself. Make sure that the, um, executable is still running. Um, but in general, as for like, a, um, a maintenance or a system cleanup, if you disable all these startups, so every time that your computer starts up, you're not going to be greeted with every fucking program there is, and it'll help make your computer run a little bit faster. And another thing that I want to show is the reg edit or the registries. Um, let me go ahead and bring that up. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Reg editor. Awesome. So if we go towards our registries, and this is the pathway that you want to follow, but I'll show you how to get there manually. So uh, you want to go to your local machine. Then you're going to click on software. Then you're going to click on Microsoft. Then you're going to scroll down where it says Windows, Windows, then click on current version, then look for run and run once. So it's right here. So in this directory of registry uh, editor, there's all these reg keys and you can delete all of them if you truly want to. It's not going to fuck up your computer. Um, if you don't feel confident or if you don't believe what I'm saying, then don't fuck with it. Um, but if you do delete it, you're not going to get it back. Um, basically, this is just whenever your computer runs, it will automatically start up the program. So I have Riot Vanguard, which is a anti-cheat for League of Legends and Valorant. So I want to leave that there. If I do not have that on auto run, then it's going to be like, oh, you can't find Riot Vanguard. So you want to leave that there if you, you know, if you're a league player. Um, there will be all these other programs. So if let's say Skype, you know, no, no one, no one uses Skype anymore. So you can go ahead and delete that registry and so on and so forth. Um, same thing with under run once, if there's anything right there, you know, you can go ahead and just, uh, click on the key, just like, um, drag and drop or drag and click and right click hit delete. So after you do that, copy this path, um, forward slash then software then this path right here and now we want to go to the other directory so it's going to be under your current user and then you're going to paste that in and now it shows other um running applications so lg hub that is for whenever my headset um the lg headset needs to operate under this software else i'm gonna have audio problems and if you scroll down, there's also a run once and you and same concept, you can delete the startups from there. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy stuff. And uh, this is something that everyone should know. This is something that viruses, uh, antiviruses uh, tend to use, um, even though that you pay like a premium 
for it per year or every month. They do the same shit I just showed you, but in different programs of what we're running here, but what you already have on your computer. So definitely uh, uh, check out Proct EXC or Proct exp.exe and uh, see what's going on. There's all these other things that you can look for. Um, you can kill a process. Uh, it's the whole tree process right here. You can just kill all of this off, but this is needed. Um, you can see what users that are currently logged on. Um, you can disconnect and log them off. It's a really nifty tool to have. You can also replace that with Task Manager. However, I do not. I just want to keep those two separated. Um, you can have that login uh, run at login. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say other than this is what I do on a, a daily or weekly basis just to maintain my computer and um, just make sure that I'm not infected. So yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, learn something from it. Um, yeah, I'm out. Take care.